Sending foreign troops to Ukraine could help free up Ukrainian defenders and send them to the front, said retired Major Alexei Getman, a veteran of the Russian-Ukrainian war. What Macron said about the foreign legion, God himself commands that it be done. Firstly, there are many ethnic Ukrainians there and they have the right to use this legion in any point on the globe where there is a danger for France. Of course, partner troops need to be involved since this will allow us to defeat evil faster with fewer losses, he explained in an interview with Ukrainian radio. According to Hetman, foreign troops could be involved in protecting the border with Belarus. He emphasized that this is not about participating in military actions and Ukraine has the right to invite foreign troops. There are no violations of international law in this. Foreign military could free up our troops and send them to areas of the front where there is a shortage of personnel. We would need 100 to 160,000 soldiers who would go not to the front line but to other positions. It would become easier for us to fight. Western partners must understand that the Third World War is unfolding and we will have to fight anyway, the veteran stated. Earlier, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said that sending Western troops to Ukraine will lead to a direct clash of nuclear powers. The practical implementation of this idea, you know what it will lead to. I can repeat for those who may have forgotten. It will lead to a direct clash of nuclear powers with catastrophic consequences, she stressed. Since February 2022, Western strategy toward Ukraine has had two central elements. Firstly, massive military and economic support to Ukraine to ensure it can survive as an independent state. But secondly, avoidance of the direct involvement of Western militaries because, as President Joe Biden has put it, that would risk World War III. The result has been two bright lines preventing escalation. No Russian attacks on NATO countries. No Western forces directly fighting Russia in Ukraine. The recent debate with suggestions of deploying small numbers of European forces to help operate air defense systems lacks seriousness. What would happen if European troops were killed? If European states did nothing, their bluff would have been called. The alternative would likely be to deploy even more forces. Some Italians and tourists on the streets of Rome had mixed reactions to the victory of Donald Trump in the U.S. presidential election on Wednesday. Standing outside a newsstand in the Italian capital, Ricardo Savoia said he saw Trump's surprisingly decisive win as a victory for the common people. I think that Trump's victory could have positive effects on the whole world, for example on the conflict in Ukraine and the one in Israel, he told the Associated Press. In Rome, another man who gave his name only as Fernando, appeared deeply concerned with Trump's win. I'm disappointed, what else can I say? Really, it is crazy and dangerous. Italian Premier Giorgia Meloni congratulated Trump on the win. Italy and the United States are sister nations, linked by an unshakable alliance, common values and a historic friendship. It is a strategic bond, which I am sure we will now strengthen even more, Maloney said. Vince Donald Trump, è lui il 47esimo presidente degli Stati Uniti. Abbiamo fatto la storia. Chiuderemo i confini ai migranti irregolari, dice poi il bacio alla moglie. Perché questo è il vero significato della vittoria di Trump. Ha vinto la gente semplice, ha vinto il popolo, ha vinto la gente che ha guardato alle cose concrete. In Italia purtroppo noi vediamo che la situazione complessiva non è una bella situazione, il nostro governo sta cercando di porvi rimedio ma siamo ancora molto lontani e io credo che questa vittoria di Trump potrà avere dei riflessi positivi anche in tutto il mondo perché per esempio il conflitto in ehm, Ucraina e il conflitto anche in Israele, probabilmente grazie a lui, che ha una forza che altrimenti eh, Kamala Harris non avrebbe avuto, ehm, potrebbero risolversi. dispiaciuto, nient'altro da dire, che cosa dire, veramente, non... 
pazzesco, pericoloso. Io sono molto contenta perché ho amici, ho vissuto negli Stati Uniti e, e conosco quello che lui ha fatto e poi quello che ha fatto Biden purtroppo. Non è che io sia partidaria di un partito politico, niente, semplicemente abbiamo bisogno di persone che facciano bene le cose per il popolo. L'America ci ha affidato un mandato forte e... Mi dica in quale parte del mondo c'è la democrazia. Capisco che sono parole pesanti, però è sotto gli occhi di tutti. Dopo che la Fox lo ha praticamente dichiarato 47 presidente degli Stati Uniti. Penso che Donald Trump è molto più forte, più aggressivo presidente, che intimida molte persone, ma allo stesso tempo penso che anche aiuta con l'ordine nel mondo. Le persone sembrano temere lui, può essere buono e buono, ma nel US, questa è la seconda volta con lui, quindi sappiamo cosa stiamo ottenendo. E non vedo le paure che molte persone dicono about him.